Welcome back everybody, it's your favorite German potato. In today's video I'm going to show you the best fully upgraded cars in Forza Horizon 5 to use online against your friends for offline races against the AI or of course for various PR stunts like speed zones or danger signs. The cars you're going to see have been tested on multiple tracks. Therefore the following list results on their average performance on all of these tracks, which makes this top 10 very trustworthy. Every single car in this video was tuned by ESV Mars, where I teamed up with once again. And like always, you can find all these tunes, including share codes, on our setup spreadsheet in the description of the video. Before we start with the list, I also want to tell you that the differences between the cars are actually pretty marginal. The cars are very balanced. Only when we get to the top mentions at the end of the video, the gaps become more visible. But that's it for the introduction already. Let's go. Position number 10 is a shared position, actually which makes this list a top 11 probably, but I guess more cars are always better. So we've got the Porsche 911 GT1 with 1194 horsepower and 958 kilogram, the street version of a Le Mans legend. And we also have the Mercedes CLK GTR in position number 10 with 1368 horsepower and 1001 kilogram which is also a Le Mans legend, even though it's, yeah, more known for its flying capabilities. The ninth best car in the game is the Maserati MC12 Corsa with 1531 horsepower and 1185 kg. It was actually one of the top five cars in Forza Horizon 4. Yeah, it's worse this time. On number 8 we've got the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento with 1191 horsepower and 980 kg. Be aware guys, this is the normal Sesto Elemento, not the Forza edition. The Apollo Intensa Emozioni Welcome Pack edition grabs position number 7. It features 1611 horsepower and 1199 kg. Like already stated before, this is the Welcome Pack edition, the one you get for buying the premium edition of the game. On P6 we have the McLaren F1 GT, definitely one of the fan favorites in the game with 1436 horsepower and 985 kg. If you're driving this car you definitely want to look for faster tracks with more long straights because this is where the car shines. The same goes for the Mosla MT900S which takes position number 5 with 1515 horsepower and 1177 kilogram just like the F1 GT it shines on faster tracks and it actually used to be the third best car in Forza Horizon 4 but yeah didn't quite make the podium this time. Yes lovely people of earth this BMW XM5 Forza edition our pick for position number four should definitely not be better than all previous cars on this list but hey that's Forza Horizon I guess. It features 1913 horsepower and 1,332 kilogram, and it's actually the first one I'm going to showcase you with our awesome Johnson Racing community. Let's go! So welcome to the Sarah Verde Sprint. As you can see, most of the cars from the list are featured in this race. We've got the Maserati MC12 Corsa, the normal Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, a Mosla MT900S, the Porsche 911 GT1, uh, we even got a 50 GT, which didn't quite make the cut for the list, and also the Apollo Intensa Emozione Welcome Pack Edition. Luckily, I was starting in the lead in this race, uh, which definitely made things easier, but take a look at this, guys. This is why the car is so good. The acceleration is not from this world. Going down to second, and then Mr. Deadly Tadpole completely missing the checkpoint. <laughs> well done, Tadpole, man. You're getting the crown, the community crown for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, if you want to see more best car lists and yeah, videos about all new cars in the game. And uh, if you want to join these races, yeah, simply join us on Discord because this is an online community racing session. Uh, however, as you can see, this BMW XM5 is so good. It's too good in my opinion. What do you think about it? Should this car be that good? be better than a Mosla, better than a Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. And as you can see, I was waiting for Marple here to make the race slightly more interesting uh, in his Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. So let's see if he can actually fight back. Uh, he was starting from fourth, so yeah, let's see. Um, going through this very narrow hairpin and then, well, we're just accelerating and uh, accelerating and Marple is gone once again. He's got no chance in his Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. And we all know that Marple is a very good driver, but yeah, I'm just flying away. 
And uh, this is definitely uh, when it starts that the cars are getting very, very good compared to the cars from position number 10 to 5, for example. Even though the McLaren F1 GT and Mosler could be better than this BMW on speed tracks. But you already see that the speed of this BMW is still very, very good. And yeah, the handling is definitely more than decent. And we're winning the race. And yeah, we'll head straight to position number 3. The most overpowered car in Forza Horizon 4, the Ferrari 599XX Evolution, only wins bronze this time. Featuring 1416 horsepower and 1155 kilogram, which I'm definitely going to showcase now. We're racing the Riviera Sprint in our Ferrari 599XX, and it appears that we lost a few people before the race thanks to amazing Forza Horizon 5 servers. However, the most important message of this race is how it compares to the BMW XM5, which will be driven in this race by GTZ Marple, who's starting in front of me. So I'm starting from last. Let's see what I can do with this. Um, better acceleration from the Ferrari 599 than most of these cars, especially when we head to the mid-speed acceleration. However, now this is where the car shines compared to all the X-Class cars, all the other ones. Um, the handling, the handling of this car is much better than in the BMW XM5. So we're already on fourth behind Tedpool and the Mossa now and away who's racing the F1 GT, so these speed monsters. Tedpool slightly blocking us and missing the checkpoint oh. there. <laughs> uh, what a noob, what a noob Tedpool. Oh, go back to school mate. But um, yeah, we're losing a lot of time here on the straight against the way, even though we were reaching 400 kilometers per hour. But now in these parts, we're definitely much better and can overtake him easily on the outside here. But now watch out, ladies and gentlemen, he is coming back. He's coming back, he's doing the Roadrunner and me, me. yes, the F1 GT is faster than the 599 on straights, which is actually funny. But now getting back to these turns, being very very gentle here, overtaking him very very fair and I think um, the net coat even crashed him. Anyway, now we're hunting Marple in his XM5. Can I catch him? That's the question. And you see that I'm getting closer in these turns. This is where the 599 is definitely better than the BMW. But apparently both of these cars are pretty balanced in my opinion. Sometimes the BMW is faster, sometimes the Ferrari is better, but overall I'd say the Ferrari uh, is third. Oh, and then Marple making the mistake no. there and... Oh. <laughs> Coming back to the ideal line. Oh god, Marple, that wasn't uh, like a gentleman. That wasn't like a gentleman. I would have got you there. And that's why we only became second in this race. On a very clear second position, with a big gap to third, we've got the one and only, the Koenigsegg CC GT with 1341 horsepower and 1060 kilogram. Unfortunately, you can only unlock this car via wheel spins at the moment, and it also costs you like 3 million credits in the auction house. Race number three in this video in the Koenigsegg CC GT, our second best car in Forza Horizon 5. Since we were starting from first, I was letting most of these people pass. I let Carton pass, who was in the X5M now, and also Marple, who's coming in the 599XX Evolution at the moment. So we are 10th now, ladies and gentlemen, in this CCGT. I love this car. And you already see it's driving on rails. These very fast, long turns, this car just loves them. It eats them. Um, While well, I was making a slight mistake here, overtaking away, Mappa is still invisible. Funny stuff. And Tadpool missing his apex slightly. And we're already first after starting from 10th, ladies and gentlemen. I can tell you that this car is almost like 2 or 3 seconds faster on each sprint compared to the 599. But let's take a look, guys. Johnson Airlines ready to take off. Oh my god, but what a save! What a save! Your favorite German potato is back in the game. Oh my god, such a new move actually. Um, which brings him up and back. He's just right behind me in the 599XX. And yep, uh, let's see how he's able to catch up or if he's able to catch up. Um, spoiler alert, no he isn't. 
but you see that Mop is trying everything, but he's not able to catch up. Um, the Königsegg is not super fast on the straights, so it's not much faster than 410 kilometers per hour in this tune. But in terms of handling, in terms of grip, in terms of the specific turn, and this car just smashes all of the other cars that you've seen before in this video. Get it. This won't be a huge surprise for most of you people watching this video, but the best car by far in this game in Forza Horizon 5 is the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition with 1191 horsepower and 892 kilogram, the lightest car in this video. Just like the CCGT, on position number 2 you can only get this car via wheel spins or you can also buy it in the auction house, of course, like every single car in the game. And here we go with the last race of this video, guys, in the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition. Definitely the best car in Forza Horizon 5 on the Vulcan Sprint. And of course, since this car is super OP, I'm letting most of the other people pass so that they have a chance. Okay, they still won't have a chance, that's the thing in this car. Uh, which you can already see, two turns and already from second to last to, what is it, uh, seventh. So that was easy peasy and now, yeah, accelerating like a pro, overtaking uh, Carlton, overtaking the Mosler. And now we're behind Tedpool and his McLaren F1 GT, who's uh, having some, uh, yeah, grip problems here. <laughs> Swerving over there, over to me. And yeah, we're second behind away in his Koenigsegg CCGT. Marple in the lead, also in the CCGT. So how long will it take me to get there, to catch Marple and yeah, maybe to overtake him? Right now he's two seconds in front of me, guys. And check it out. By the way, I've already done a full video with this car. If you want to check it out, check out the description of the video. I have linked it there from the beginning of the game, actually, when it came out back then. Um, we are behind Marple and we are catching up very, very quickly, guys. This car is better in every part than the Koenigsegg CCGT. More speed, more grip, better acceleration, and that's something you can see here. Marple isn't doing any mistakes, but I'm just getting closer, yeah, without driving in a very, very special way. A small mistake here from my favorite German potato, and yeah, we're still there. We're still behind Marple, trying to overtake him. I definitely um, wanted to be very, very gentle here to not crash him. If this race uh, was a race without collisions, well, I would have already overtaken him. But there, as you can see, oh my god. Once again, your favorite German potato is making a little mistake. Um, and this time it was definitely not that little since I missed this checkpoint and the race was over. But this race was a very, very good example to show you how amazing this car is, how yeah, easily I was catching up to all people there in front of me, especially to Marple. Now guys, don't forget to smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you're new and tell me which is your favorite X-Class car. And once again, special thanks to ESB Mars who really, really helped me out here. Thanks for that. And now I can only say...